どうもよっしゃ、レッツシー。よし、It's been a long time! It's been a long time! Yes, Alan Walker! <laughs> hello, 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 seven, hello, <laughs> Bunny! <laughs> Bunny, you were so quick this time! I actually, um, I actually want to draw Kanda and Alan and Kanda, but then I had, I had, um, I ran out of ideas at the moment and I had an idea for Alan, so Alan first and then I'll get, get back to it eventually. So here we go. It's been a while. <laughs> it's never hello. Hello, Zimba, Zim, Zimba, we assassin. Woo woo. First cheer of the day. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> thank you thank you but um yes yeah, so this was something i sketched up quickly just before this stream um so i'm gonna keep it to a more darkish kind of drawing <laughs> you are early today hello the doctor and then let me just move this across over oh, i have photoshop open uh let me just minimize that make this mm. Um, do you have any references for Alan? Maybe this one. Put that on the side. Because I like that hairstyle. And then... Alright. <laughs> Your picture's too pretty. My sketch is pretty messy. My, my... Um... It is pretty messy though, but you get the general idea, so here it goes. And then, um, originally I started off with this and then I decided to add some more kind of stuff, which I have a rough idea, but, uh, yeah. And thank you, thank you. Good to see you all. And I guess I'll start off with the line work and search. I'm really doing this draw Kanda and Alan, so I'll get round to it. It's hard because I'm trying to juggle juggle drawing Niji Sanji peoples. And then I really want to draw another Fumetsu not Anata Air to your eternity drawing. And then I miss drawing D Grey, so Oh yes. Please do, please do look and do your commission page drawing. Let's see, so here goes. I realized recently I was using the wrong pencil for a lot of my drawings, so no wonder my line art was taking longer than usual. This was the right pen, I think. The first one, I put the one that I um, used the most at the first one, but then I ended up using the other ones for some reason. Uh, but uh, yes. Most people start on Twitter anyhow, so it's okay. Plus, don't worry, just treat it as a side thing anyway. And then... I haven't decided what exactly expression to draw Alan in, but um, I'll get around to it. It's been a while since I've drawn Alan properly, so... I hope I'm not too rusty. I hope. <laughs> How are you? How is the day been? It's been pretty decent. I've gotten mostly on task. I've uh, been very busy this past week. So all I've been doing is quick drawings mostly. But uh, everything's still on task. So I think mm, after... I'd say after... Monday then I'm pretty free after Monday I'm be back on track it's been kind of kind of inclusive lately I I still so there's a lot of drawings I want to draw um I still miss drawing Kanda and Alan so I still miss it oh gosh drawing Kanda but I don't I miss I yeah I miss that a lot I want to draw another for Metano Anata Air drawing and then I want to draw another Kanakana and Kuzu in their white outfits, but I haven't had a solid idea 
for it yet, so that's in the back of my mind. Anankun, let's go. Oh gosh. Okay, let's go. I still haven't finished my drawing for my other work yet, but um, it's in no rush, so I'll do it either later tonight, tomorrow, or in two days, so. Yes, hello, I said, yes, what do you go? Heck yeah, all right, Alankun. Right, all right, all right. Okay, let's draw this blind. Okay. All right, I'll draw, I'll draw it in. Um, let me see if I could draw <laughs> something like this. All right, okay, all right, let's go. Bootleg, um, bootleg, <laughs> bootleg, Alan. I was trying to draw something similar to, um, from, from something, something akin to this, but, um, not looking. <laughs> it's, um, it's a bootleg version of my drawing, my own drawing. Bootleg bean sprouts, I know, right? Kuchi, Elij, Irashai, good to see you all. Man. <laughs> Edo, Sashiburi, long time no see. Edo, Edo, missed you a lot. How's everything been? Is it still been busy lately? Gosh, gosh, I need to talk to you about how good Albert looks. <laughs> yeah, yatta. Ah, uh, me too. I'm almost I'm almost a little bit more free as well, so being glad. Hello, everyone's so nice. Everyone is so nice here. I love it. I love all you guys. Thank you for always keeping me company as well because it makes it all enjoyable. Even on my tired days, I feel like oh, I want to draw and talk to you guys. Yes, it. Hope you've been well. Gosh. Is this the right expression for Alan? It's been so long. Did I make him look cuter? But he's always cute too. I don't know. He changes. It's been a long time. It's been a while. I feel like it's... I mean... It's so interesting to see, like, these years of drawing Alan. Even though he's one of my the easiest characters to draw for me, I feel like he's still... The way I draw him is still changing. Are you going to continue experimental culture? It's very pretty. Maybe a little bit. Uh... I'm, I, there's a general color scheme and idea that I have, but I haven't decided if it's the normal color scheme, I mean, the normal coloring method I want to do and such. I'm hoping the new season of Apex will let me play it. So, I haven't been playing Apex this past week as much because I'm just being so busy, right? And you know me, if I play Apex, I play it for at least like a few hours. <laughs> it's never one or two hours. And uh, so that's why I've been actively mm, trying not to play much. Let's see. Kind of what, what kind of expression do I want to draw for Alan? <laughs> Has me tried the arenas thing? No, I haven't actually. Haven't haven't uh played it since the update. So the last time I played it was just before the um the update and such, so I 
I know. Mm. But uh, yeah, sad times to see all my gaming this past two weeks has like dropped so many rings. But you know, work is important. <laughs> And then let's see I'm yeah I'm drawing Alan in his little bit motor hairstyle some more this one <laughs> how have you all been though can't believe last night I just did an impromptu Adabedu drawing. I was supposed to. <laughs> I didn't expect to stream that long. Let's see. Oh, thank you. Because I've never streamed um, GBF before either, so it was it was um it was different. <laughs> It can mend makes decisions better. It can mend's always the right choice. I want to make me. Hmm. Gosh, and then uh, maybe I should put a rare status up on IG. I never, I never post my updates on on Instagram, but uh, maybe I will do that now. Oh, thank you, madam, for the follow. Let's see, I am. Twitch, Twitch TV. Yasha. And then I never. I'm really. I'm so bad at using my um IG. I post and run away. Oh, I forgot to turn the internet on. <laughs> I know you are looking. Come on. <laughs> we won't bite, I think. <laughs> Yasha, is it updated? Posting. Yasha, okay. You can draw in peace. <laughs> Been a while since I drawn Alan, but um, I still I still got it. <laughs> but this draw hairstyle, I draw him a bit less as well. Do you guys have a character that um, in times of art blocks or something that you like to go to return to is there a certain character because alan is one of those kind of characters if i have an art block or i don't know what to draw at least i think i i can always draw him like a character that is nice to draw for you
see his ear much in this? A little bit. Mm. <laughs> Tend to always resort to Yuri Lower when I want to draw any character. He's almost muscle memory for me now. Ah, yeah, I really do like how you draw Yuri as well. I, I'm not really good at drawing most Tells characters unless it's like Mitsumi in Omato style, but um, yes, ah, uh, yes, Yuri is a good choice. I agree. I've always avoided drawing Yuri because I, I think I subconsciously knew for a long time. Um, especially starting out drawing, I wouldn't, my art style wouldn't, especially back then. Now I think I can draw with, with a few more practice, I can draw anyone. But you know, when you're, when you're still uh, in like the learning stages of drawing, right? I don't think I will ever be satisfied of my drawing of Yuri back then. I learned my anime style for mostly Tails. Yes. Tails? Tails is good to learn from in all sorts of ways. I learned my, mostly of my Japanese from Tails. Never mind. Oh, never mind. Oh, sad times. I haven't updated Apex or tried anything yet. So, especially in our first day, uh, everything's a little bit like buggy, right? So that's why I'm just like, I'll just wait. I'm in no rush. to make this drawing like a really pale-ish drawing like a very pale more stronger red and black and dark gray kind of tones I'm not sure if I am put any blue but maybe that kind of tones so not my usual colorful I think but um more I want to go for more mm, depends depends maybe I'll add some pale tones I will see As used to drawing this hairstyle though because it's much more neater I like his fringe but then when I draw the more flowy hair neater neater hairstyles is a bit tricky oh, I always love hearing the thought process behind your works oh thank you I hope it's kind of interesting because sometimes I'm like switching between sometimes I just have a vague sense of idea what I want but you know when you don't really know until you see it as well sometimes it gets there in the end sometimes it changes because um when i sketched up this drawing i thought about like the red tones of his clothes right and then i thought about um what about adding some spider lilies and making the skeleton red instead and all things like that so more of that 
dark gothic feel. Kind of want a more gothicish feel for this drawing. So it can be have some colours, but I still want to retain that gothic feel. I feel like I'm not really too happy with the hair. That moment when you like the sketch more than the line work. You know what I mean, guys? You know what I mean, guys? <laughs> Happens every time. <laughs> I know, right? Happens to me too sometimes. Sometimes if it happens, I feel like erasing an entire section and just redoing it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it makes it worse. I feel like I'll just erase all that and redraw that. Hello, Witching Rose. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. What does his clothes look like? Um, so his vest that is right, his vest thingy, and then he has a jacket which I'm putting over his shoulders so I can draw his arm because I like his arm. Alan looks so beautiful. Thank you. He's a beautiful boy. Maybe I should have drawn him in his other hairstyles. But I want to draw this hairstyle. But I want to draw him in this hairstyle. Um neat but um maybe a little bit longer here Ma more precious <laughs> protect this precious boy nah, i think hmm maybe cuz the thing of his his neater hairstyle it makes his hairstyle much more flatter as well when alan changes hairstyles all the time okay and then How was it? <laughs> okay. And then... So... Literally, it, it, so Alan is pretty much covered donning a skeleton. Not really a covered on. There's no really watch angle. There's no wall. There's no ground. It's just what it is. He's draw his hair more flowy though. I feel like it's a bit too. Maybe more flowy, like out. 
Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Let me just try. Maybe. That makes it look really cute for some reason. Did I draw the head too fluffy? I think I drew the head too fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> make maybe I'll make it curl in a little bit more. And then And then one I really like drawing straight hair strands. You know, like um you know what I really like about, <laughs> about you know like Kanae, right? You know Kanae how he has I'm just gonna quickly draw Kana Kana like a really rough. There's a part of a hair I really like. I, I really like how, how he has this one strand, this part, and then he has this, that part. It's like neat, but that likes like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I drew it I, I tried to draw it properly before as well like uh where is it where is you see, I, I, I try, like drawing that part. I really like drawing this part. I like drawing that part. And I like drawing a long hair of that part too. So that's that's the, that's the, the part I like about Kana Kana's hair. Because it's really pretty. I'm still yet to successfully style that boys with much and such beautiful hair. Ah, yes. Understandable. Wait, was my reference? He has a... His jacket has a hoodie. Yet it's also collared. So I have to fit in his hoodie somehow in here and then he has a hoodie part in here hood hoodie boys shonen with hoodies cute when albert was a hoodie cute when arthur was a hoodie cute when santa Kana was a hoodie You get me, guys? <laughs> yes. Edo is my comrade. Hoodie boys. Like, it's just hoodie boys because it's such a show and end thing. I love it. Hoodie is Pacto increases the nice factor. <laughs> nice. Hmm. 
and thin nice -oo. that's why I like I like drawing characters with hoodies too it's cute Sun Darifun hoodie, cute. Far Sun, cute. Far Sun, more. Far Sun with big hoodie and long robes. Fast and cute even with that audience. That is true. Kinda equip hoodie for Santa Fe. I know. It's so nice. I really like Kana's um Santa. Like he has those high boots. High boots and a hoodie. And tightly fitted clothes. Who wouldn't like that? Thank you, Saku Kiri Boutique, for the follow. Thank you, Park. I know. I'm wondering if I should change his expression, but um, I'll do the main layout first and then I'll see if I want to change things up a little bit. And then, because I do have some ideas behind this drawing. And then. Alan in a well fitted suit and blazer. Nice. No, kinda even more. Okay, so that would go down here, and then I'll leave it there, maybe. Oh, thank you, CK Sylvania, for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Wait, that should go down here a little bit more, and then... And then Yes, yeah. And then... Get that. Okay. Hmm. Been a while. Deciding between, like, drawing different Allens and all his outfits and all his... All his hairstyles and all his outfits every time it's like hmm which outfit should i draw alan in today of course for my drawings you can probably see i have certain preferences but um i like his ladder ladder costumes and ladder clothes uniforms more then wait just redraw that. The angle isn't that nice. Hey, 
hate drawing out complex angles because it makes the limbs look short unless it's extreme, so it's obvious. I know, right? Sometimes, like, um, the sketch looks okay, but then I have to, like, recheck the proportions and, like, the un overlapping of, like, the bodies and stuff like that. Because sometimes it's like, wait, did I draw it right or did I mess up? But I'm like, okay. You have to redraw it in. So sometimes you see me scribble, like, things like that, just to scribble in just to double check so I see the body shape again. But, uh, yeah. But sometimes it throws you off, right, without those lines. So, totally understand. Because without it and without shading, sometimes it throws you, like, some of the lines make it seem, like, wrong without the colours and context behind it. So that one is... And then, yeah. Just need to... Because he has a few layers going on, which is annoying. Ah, whoops. And then... Uh, I think uh, this should be a little bit shorter because of that hoodie part. And then, because I want to drop 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 it over his shoulders more, but uh, yeah, I think that's fine. And then. It's actually just getting really stuffy. Did I did I put too many layers on myself? Cause um, you know, it's getting cold here, so I've been just making sure I stay warm before it gets too cold. Ah, for seven hour time while picking these things. Chill times, chill times indeed. Hope you enjoying F seven hour. And then, hmm, there's some things I want to draw in, but I'm not sure if I should draw it in now or after. Maybe I'll draw it after. Out like that. And then he has his. that hey it's getting there and then croissant no um i need to draw the spider lilies um spider lilies have two parts which kind of come out i should have drawn in a separate layer actually so i could um that so that comes out there and that kind of comes out And then it usually has like a three bunch kind of like that and then it has its all and then it does this from Gosh, it's not too bad, actually. Could be worse. Okay, I'll copy copy that and to cut that off alt first, and then I'll um put it here. And then. Ba -da -ba -ba. And then I can't really see the can't really see the spine because his hand kind of covers it, but it's all right. 
and then you can't really see the collarbone either but that's all right so let's see one one i think am i doing this right whatever do not understand just draw something and it hope hope it resembles one oh why is this line so wonky i maybe i should switch it here so it's easier one two one and then three 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 four oh i like it thank you thank you so much that is very kind of you three science in our eyes <laughs> science indeed one two wait one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think. Uh, you can't see 8, 9, 10 properly anyway, so it's okay. I'll just cover it with flowers and such. Whoop. Oh, why is this so wonky? Wait, where's my... Let me... Yeah, there's 10 that is more obvious that goes around, and the other two kind of attached to its the bottom part, from what I remember. But uh, it's always um, annoying to look up. Um, yeah, the bottom, the last two kind of connects a little bit shorter, so it doesn't really go around as much, but, um, <laughs> counting ribs, yeah. Pretty much, huh? Um, then... <laughs> it's always interesting though just make sure it looks not too terrible and plus doing side view is a little bit tricky as well like front view is a little bit easier but uh, side view is a bit annoying because then I have to think about how it kind of comes around as well but maybe I can be lazy on that. Do I be lazy on that? It's a bit wonky already. <laughs> My last few ones are a bit wonky already. It's okay. Oh, thank you, JJ of May for the follow. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Ah, me returns to Duke Man roots. Yes, it is one of those nights where I return to my roots. It's comforting. It's comforting, right? It's been a while. It's been a while. So it's been like, what, two, three months? Which is, which is a long time. And then... Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Let's see here, here maybe. Let's see, I kind of want to put it. Mm. 
I want to get hints of flowers in in the kind of skeleton as well, but um, I think I might be easier to draw that in afterwards then. What? Comfort cactus are good indeed to draw. So let me just... Like this. Dun, 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 dun. Ah. Mr. Bones for new husband or move move away, Kanda. You're re you've been replaced by a skeleton. I'm gonna fetch a cup of tea too. Just in the art with yes. Enjoy a nice cup of tea. Me too. I have a nice cup of jasmine tea. Ja. Thank you, Slug Boy, for the follow. Man, when I see the name Slug Boy, the first thing that popped into my head was a uh, uh, Junji Ito. Is <laughs> Mr. Is the right name? It's <laughs> Don't you guys think of Junji Ito when you see that kind of name? And then I'll draw. Oh, thank you, Tay Ikush, for the follow. And then I'll draw another one here, too. Gigi <laughs> Ito. Oh, I love Gigi, of course. What is your favorite Gigi Ito? Sorry. I like Tomie the most. I, I like Tomie. Mind me as I draw more spider lilies slowly. Yeah, I'm gonna turn. Oh, this way it all. Make it a little bit easier for me to draw. Ah, these two is unlucky. Ah, interesting, interesting. I like the cave one as well, right? Whatever that one was, the one that you. You you see the shape of your yourself, and then you will start. Although that one was very short, I enjoyed that one. I think so. Was that it? It's been a long time since I wrote it. Yes, and then Uzumaki was a creepy. Uzumaki was pretty creepy. Hey, I see. <laughs> get that, get that. I feel like um this go is going not fully anyway. Maybe I'll just draw on the other end. This side maybe. Then I'll, maybe I'll draw more after, but I think I'll start off with this amount first. Oh, I forgot little little thingies. Thank you. <laughs> what a name. Thank you for the follow. And then. Hey. 
a I feel like the flowers were too small here at the bottom should have drawn a bit bigger let me get a little bit bigger we the good thing about digital yes all right and I can get started yes so let's see start it off with this edge which I'll add more later it'll make more sense but um, I'll get the line work a little bit neat first and then it'll be easy for me to start doing whatever I want to do with it yes now I'm just gonna clean up the line work a little bit and add a little bit more detail maybe And then my beautiful foot. Yes, it's cushy. I'm I miss it. And then Then I mean I can afford to make it a lot neater now. Hmm. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, na, 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 na. And make it more. Mm, this part is so messy. Line art can take so much time. Well, actually, for 50 minutes so far, it's actually not too bad. I really miss drawing Kanda though. I feel like I haven't drawn Kanda properly in a long time. Drawing Kanda is fun for me. Because I, I like... He just has a pretty face as a knight and a nice figure to draw. I guess you could say he's kind of what to draw. <laughs> oh, trust you, the white box up to say that. <laughs> that timing. That timing of entrance. Oh my lord. <laughs> yes. Hello, peaches. <laughs> you know speaking of um because yesterday i was streaming and drawing gbf right when when the events if the events come and it's a lucio based event you bet 
you bet y'all I'm gonna stream that. So then I can, uh, I can, uh, scream. So I hope it'll be the next anniversary event and then I could be, I can actually do a proper GPS stream on that. Shadu! <laughs> It's been a while, Shadow. Miss playing with you. But then again, the past two weeks, I haven't really been playing much either, so sad times. My goal was to get 30 kills in um the season, so I, I reached that goal, so that mean that's that's why I kind of like mm, okay, ticked my goal, and then then I'll just catch up with my work. <laughs> Bella Yuki Me Ah good to see you again. Yes, it is Ellen. Yeah, thank you, Shadow. And I've been having random schedule flips. Ah yeah. Hope you get used to it. Or hope it sort of sounds a little bit. Yeah. It, it, it be a little busy these days. I think like everyone's schedules has been uh, had a bit of a busy period. Definitely for me these two weeks. I mean, it's not crazy busy, but it's just because I pretty much do like five different jobs, right? So it's like a little bit of everything. Mm, kind of adds up, right? <laughs> And plus, it didn't help the last- this was the last week of uni trimester, so I have uh, two assessments to mark for three different classes. So, that usually takes about a, a few days time to do that. So it's been a little bit- bit of a juggle. And then I also work on um, drawings and work outside of stream because those are more for actual games that I can't show as much. So yeah, it's been hard to kind of like fit things outside of stream as well. I'm closing a construction project business and laying people off people. Job on HR. Ah, man, that must be a difficult job as well, right? Laying off people, huh? Crazy busy. And now people bounce life sometimes. I agree. I mean, I I feel like I have a very balanced life as it is with family, work, friends, and all that. But that's I feel like that's I'm also have the luxury of it because I'm freelance and I can schedule accordingly to make the max use of my day. But, um, or like I can multitask or I can combine two things. For example, I can work on my own drawings or I can stream some per like more personal commissions and other stuff on stream. So I can balance that, right? While steaming, still trying to do all this kind of thing. But, um, I know how tricky it can be to balance all that. Ah, uh, no great workers. I'm so sad we're into them. Yeah, it's unfortunate when that kind of stuff happens. Ish, especially in this time these days, right? When everyone's very hanging on to their jobs as well because the world be still a bit hectic. Hope you guys are doing alright though. Because you know when you look at the news it's always pretty sad times. Then let's see. Oops, here. Yes, do you stay healthy? Kind of want to eat some cookies now. Hang on, where's my, where's my cookies? Let me, let me, let me, let me just save this at the moment and. 
get my get my cookies. Wait, it's underneath my desk. All right. <laughs> my cookie tin. Yes. And then put this back. Yes, drink more water. Oh, I'm about to be fully vaccinated in four days, so there's something. Yes, that's something to look forward to. And a little weight off your shoulders. Oh no. Sorry, you're all accompanying me eating cookies. <laughs> I need to put away laundry. Now I just want to pop in here for Mr. Healthy and Hydrated. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you for popping in as well. To stay healthy. I love the chewing <laughs> animation. <laughs> I love how the face tracking tracks me eating as well. <laughs> Nice suit. Also, Edo, Edo, is it still there? When are you gonna do your VTuber? I wanna see. I wanna see your bunny boy. <laughs> I wanna see your bunny boy. Hmm. <laughs> No, right? Yeah, where's your bunny boy? <laughs> ah, right. I look forward to it. Let me take some cars so I can buy life to it again. Ah, yes. Hope to see, hope to see it someday. <laughs> no, of course. Your designs are always so nice. Would love to see it animated. Um, it's live. Live today is a sub subscription base. So yeah, the first month is for like free, and then the rest is yeah, it's a sub. Sadly, sad times. Yeah, so that's why um I haven't picked it up again much either because I haven't, because I did sit down to um learn and stuff. But yeah, remember the period my computer died and that was during the time I was learning Lab Two D and my computer pretty much went off to fix for the month, so it literally expired <laughs> during the time I I was learning in it and yeah I was on a pretty good track as well so I know for me it wouldn't take too much to learn because of my animation base but um right now I still don't really have much time to do so so sad times I'm still on my trying to have everything together and, ah yes 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 yeah so fortunately I guess whenever I really have something I really want to do it then I'll pick it up again um and do so but yeah, it's a little bit hard to do so now I want to do more animated drawings, like illustrations and stuff. That's not too hard. Oh, thank you, uh, Jenna. Daddy, Daddy Jenna, for the follow. Like, even for something like this drawing, I could probably do an animation if I wanted to. But um, oh, that might be a nice idea. If I separated the flowers, and then I separated the hair, and then squints. Am I really bothered? <laughs> Maybe eventually. It would be, it would be. Hmm. 
Maybe I should do it for like an anniversary thing, like a D grade anniversary thing. Maybe I'll do an animated, animated Alan or something, or an animated thing. That wouldn't be too bad to do. Why not? I'll leave it to a special occasion. I'm lazy right now. With too much on my plate right now. And <laughs> it's funny because early Lushy and the time before. Oh, thank you, Heavy Sniper Black, for the follow. You have a very edgy name. <laughs> and um, so what I was saying was over a year, about a bit more than a year ago, like the start of last year and before that. And, you know, I've been freelancing for a while and always been worried about being short of jobs and other stuff like that. So I started a lot of different things, whether it was teaching, whether it was like all sorts of things and everything. <laughs> and like accepted uh, flatter jobs and all sorts of jobs. And I was getting to a stage where like everything is picking up. When everything is picking up, you're like, oh no. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a good thing, but also you have to weigh like which ones you have to cut out as well. So, or like balance which is worth for the long run that'll help your own business or help yourself grow or get more contacts and such. Then make sure these are joined properly. And then can't wait to do the base colors and see what ways I'm gonna do this drawing. It's been a while since I've done Alan, so I'm curious how much my art has, the way I color him has changed. Well, I'm curious to see that. Because sometimes you don't know how much your art has changed until you actually do it right. You're like, nah, my drawing is still the same. But then there are things that has changed over time. So. Yes. Then da, 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 da. Do you ever like when people sometimes like people look at your old art and you're thinking like and and well I, I've been getting a lot of people looking up my old Persona 5 art lately and i drew mostly persona 5 in 2017 2018-ish so it's kind of weird to look back because now i'm like oh looking back at that i'm like oh i i draw so much better than than now but um <laughs> and and then it's like it's like guys why are you liking art from so long ago I'm currently watching a 33 hour long Persona 5 movie because I can't play it. Oh gosh, yes. There is a lot to do in Persona 5 as well. Well, JRPGs in general. 33 hours not too bad. Considering the gameplay itself, J JRPGs can easily be over 100. Oh, and that's only part one. <laughs> ah, yes. All right. I never, never really finished it, despite how much I love P5 and drew Akechi and all that. I didn't even play the newer ones as well. Sweats. Okay. 
then yeah I've been here slight shame saying I put a bit too much time into the games that's fine that's good I've only finished P3. I actually didn't finish P5 or Royal. This one needs to come in out like this because it's a hoodie. So it needs a little bit more. Hmm. Then almost done with the line art, I think. At least most of it anyway. Hmm. And sometimes I think back and think how mu how much time did I have to play so many JRPGs? Because I used to really play so much, but I guess as a like a kid and like a teenager, you just had the time to just. I guess also there's not ma as many games, right? Or you can't afford that many games, so you just. So for me, when you just get a game, you just keep playing it. <laughs> now there's like so many games, too many games to play. There are too many games now. I think, I guess that's, you know, as a kid, you, do you, I didn't actually have that many games, right? For my N, Nintendo 64, I think I had like, how many games do I had, have? I'm thinking, I had Donkey Kong. I had Kirby. I had Smash Bros. Snowboard Kids. Ocarina of Time. The Star Wars racing game thing. Was that it? Oh, I had one more, which was this fantasy-ish game. Less than 10 games, I think, for my N64. About maybe 10 or less than that. You know, you just play the same games over and over again. Sure, yeah, sure. Okay. That should be okay enough. Actually, don't make this a little bit. And then. I feel like I did the line a little bit too stiff, though. Oh, well. And then after, I think, after next week, I can start doing more commissions and stuff again. Woo woo woo! Okay, 
Why? This part is so messy. Unande. I think I changed in the Caribbean meter. Yeah, I think that looks better. Okay. I do. Oh, wait. Then let me try. No, why are you not? Why? This tool, I sway. Less Clip Studio and the infinite amount of tools. that just figured out where they keep the blending because that makes where what it is yeah once you get used to it like the certain tools it's just like you can't go back just finish one more deadline thing only one left yay woo woo <laughs> Even this tool, the filling um, kind of tool, I'm getting used to as well. Still not the best yet, but best to kind of practice to see how to use it. for the follow welcome welcome and let's see i think the best thing would be to make the background black maybe oh it's black and then i want to make ellen quite pale-ish in this drawing so
magic it feels. I know, right? <laughs> magic. It is. That's all. Yeah, these ones, it really is like magic. I'm gonna try. Oh, it didn't. Damn, didn't feel that one. Maybe because the gap was too. Oh, no. I'll try again. Yay! Yay! What? Oh, sometimes it works. Sometimes it works. Okay, that's okay. We'll just do whatever's quicker. Well. <laughs> Do that after. Okay. And then. Okay. Let's go and. Slightly off black, maybe. Slightly off black. And then... Turn the line work down a little bit. Maybe a warm, warmer kind of grain. I feel like this is too. Get, I'm getting VTuber songs stuck in my head and covers.
gonna draw want to draw another different flower inside maybe oh thank you juniper j juniper for the follow Dark. I kind of want to make the hair a bit more glowy though. Ba -da -ba 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 Yes, yeah, something like this. Maybe. Yes, CSP has a lot of good tools. I might not use them though, depending on the context. Might be a bit too much. Probably don't really need something. This one, the subtle one is okay, I think. But uh, I'll see if I keep it or not. Maybe I'll put it there for now. And if I don't need it, I'll get rid of it. And then... Darker toned. I feel like I needed something a little bit more. Yes, yes. This is a better red. Mm-hmm. 
then it really is it took me a long time to make this switch but um once i got the hang of it it's like it's worth it Sometime that would be good. Hmm. All right. Then um, got the at least got the base done. Draft and then flower lines. that I've got the draft of dragons hello Misashibri. In a long time, we see Alan. I'm gonna see if my art of him has changed.
Just came back so good. Wow, thank you. Welcome back. Okay. watch fake Camelot movie I'm like belly in that fan and I enjoyed it do you like it I enjoyed it for what it was um I do admit the pacing was like I I found the pacing was really weird um like it was so rushed and it's like you didn't really have time it was kind of like yeah some parts was supposed to be emotional but you weren't attached enough to be emotional yet so it was kind of those like that kind of rushed right but I enjoyed it for what it was. The timing sometimes is really weird. Like some serious and then suddenly it cuts to comedic really fast. Or like suddenly it's like one thing after another. And then yeah. So wasn't too happy about that timing. But overall I feel like it's quite enjoyable. And it's fun. It's a fun watch. Thank you Kiki Deshu for the follow. And for example it's kind of like when they snuck in and Mordred was just there. I'm like what is Mordred doing there for? Like alright like you're just there I'm like alright <laughs> things like that oh I, I guess that's part of the the selling point right the fights always look good that's what I was saying too I was like yeah the fights look good, good but I'm like they always look good They really made Gawain look cool. <laughs> they did. I'm not too... I think um, Rai feels the same as well, but um, not too happy with... Some characters are good. Some characters look like... Because mm. Ozzy, Ozzy's face wasn't didn't look that great. Even though he was just more so a cameo. But... Um, I hope they didn't include the thing Ozzy does in the game with this head. Nee, Ozzy was... I feel like Ozzy was literally just thrown there just because they want to say Ozzy is in here. Like, he was honestly a bit... I I wasn't a fan of how they portrayed him in the actual Camelot movie. Because he was a bit more, like, loud and annoying, more than charismatic loud, like, Gil, right? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Haru, for the links. Yeah, I feel like Ozzy was thrown in just for like, he's here kind of thing. Mm, some characters look decent. I can't believe they did my voice. <laughs> yeah. Did I use... Mm, is it me? Did I draw Alan? Kind of cute. But he's kind of cute. Whatever. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, I love the fact Carl's giving me a thank you. I'm really trying to keep it to a more muted uh, gray and a very paleish tone. Thank you. 
it's so interesting to see how my style is developing because ah uh, would i have used these tones back then probably not huh because even looking at my old art it went through phases <laughs> this alan looks a bit saucier <laughs> my art has gotten sexier Yeah, bye. What happened? What did I do? What happened to my art? When I haven't drawn D Gray for so long, this is what happens. <laughs> Imagine if the comments was a uh, I wish I was the skeleton. <laughs> I wish that skeleton was me. <laughs> you joke, but it will probably someone will probably comment that. <laughs> someone will hundred percent. <laughs> as you as you remember in my other streams, what I joke becomes reality. What I joke, it will happen. Whatever I joke. Now I can't. Now, now when I post string, I'm just gonna see who will write that. I need some ideas for new Yulin drawings because it's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like every time you make a joke about your art, it comes to, I remember like 10 years ago on <laughs> a stream, you joked about some quick Zelda art you did becoming your most liked piece ever and it totally blew up. <laughs> ah, there's one of the times. <laughs> there's... Those were the times. I sometimes do that for the for the jokes, right? For example, it's like, I'm just going to draw Genshin because I know my art style draws it for the jokes. Let's just see if people actually like just like it for the sake of liking it. <laughs> and then people like it and I'm like, stop, guys. <laughs> I can't have no I remember even being like, yeah, 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 you mean, I mean. <laughs> and I would never use my thumbnail because I would never notice my art. And then it happened in between like one week within each other. <laughs> it happened like one week after another. Isn't that crazy? Be careful, your words have an unknown power. My, my power of, um, I'll just say crazy jokes and crazy ideas and it'll happen. Alan in kind of slap while they're on the phone. Nice, Ooh, That's some nice ideas. You know, I kind of, I kind of really want to, like some of my old drawings, I feel like I want to redraw as well because I feel like my art has gotten better. So I might, I kind of want to redraw some old pieces too. Because there's one or two which I liked, but I'm like, maybe maybe I can do a better better one. 
or like a better version of the same concept or update on the concept kind of thing. Because I, I really like the the colourful bathtub one I did, but I'm like, I kind of want to do another one, but like maybe a different kind of colour scheme or like a different-ish kind of composition. <laughs> Bunny's like, I'm living with the artist. Thank you, thank you. Because I will plan to, I want to draw a new Yulin one eventually, because it's been very, very long time since I've drawn. Uh, Lynn. I need to draw food for myself. Tuxedo coming. <laughs> Alan and kind of trying to go shopping for clo clothes, shopping together for a couple's fashion, but kind of wants to pick the black. <laughs> Alan wants to pick the white. <laughs> that would be actually quite a cute. Imagine them arguing over clothes shopping like that. And Alan's like, I like this one because it suits me. And then, and then kind of like dumbass, like, I mean, it gets so dirty so easily. Why would you pick a dumb color like that? Just, I'm going to revive my Yulin side. Just you wait, guys. Just you wait. It will happen. I've just been um jumping around. Shopping at gives us this food. Yes. Fashion zine. No, probably could. They look good in anything. I actually thought about it before. Doing a fashion zine of the D Grey. But then I forgot about it. I think this was about like three years ago. I love fashion zines more than real life fashion. <laughs> ah, that is true, you know. Do you ever like, sometimes I go shopping on Taobao and then sometimes I see some really nice clothes and I just save it because I'm like, oh, I don't think that's something that suits me in particular, but I really like the design, so I just save it. If I can't wear it, my characters can wear it. Yeah, I know, right? Fashion zine's always fun. I actually feel all that 90s fashion from your infirmary she wouldn't look good on Kanai. Yeah, oh yeah. Ah, uh, Alan would look good in Subaru's outfit. I really like the, that kind of 90s fashion. Maybe I should just draw draw Kanda and Alan in, in Tokyo Babylon outfits. Probably dressed in like nanny stuff, probably. Yes. I really like um 90s. 
you know, like, n- there's something about charming about those 90s styles, right? 90s styles and 90s fashions, like those high-waisted jeans and those, like, baggy shirts and stuff. It looks really good. Like, I really like those kind of illustrations. Even though my style isn't that kind of style, but, like, I really like looking at that, those kind of art styles. Uh, things like even, like, Banana Fish or, like, Banana Fish fan art, I really like. I'll just get rid of this these trends which doesn't look good in the context I have a thing about turtlenecks and high jeans it's a great look it is you know what's up I'm co- I, even though I spent time doing the line art, I'm like completely ignoring the line art and redoing the line art as I paint. Is this a sign of my art becoming more and more painterly? <laughs> you know how some artists, they um, do a draft and then they paint and then they do the line art after? No, that's the kind of style, the, that, those are the kind of art styles I really like as well. So it's kind of interesting that I'm kind of heading towards that stage. so interesting how my art is progressively becoming more painterly <laughs> which is something that I've always aimed for since I was very young but I didn't have the <laughs> the ability to do so I've tried many times I've tried many times back in my back in my earlier days but it was always a hit or miss sometimes I can able to do it but um half the time it would be failure And then sometimes when I get to those kind of stages where like, hey, how did this get become so much easier? And I'm like, yo, I'm a professional now. What? And I'm like, well, I've always been a professional. <laughs> always has been. But, you know, I still have the mentality of being that kid who's striving to draw and striving to make that career and striving to be the very best that I <laughs> was. Like, you know, so it's always funny to kind of look back and say like, mm hmm. Since when did it become easier? Hey, my art is becoming less lonely. Got too influenced by graphic stuff now. Hey, interesting. But it's nice to have that kind of mix of influence too, right? It makes it more interesting that way.
bizarre in a way that I still remember the days where I'm like, how do artists paint and make it so easy? And I used to spend hours and hours and days just trying to, trying to do it. And now I'm just like, doing it as I'm multitasking and streaming and talking and it's like, how? Things, it's kind of strange how things change over the years. Recently I watched a digital painting that blew my mind, some Chinese artist, and I was like, I would ne literally never be capable of this, haha. <laughs> I feel like, you know, that's the thing with Chinese artists. I love, or well, most of my influences are Chinese artists itself, and most of my favourite art styles and everything, and art. I, I can tell. I mean, probably even by my art style, you can tell I have a very Chinese art influence, which is interesting as well because I'm Chinese myself, right? But, um, yeah, like... The talent is like, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's like, if they draw, they're 1000% good. <laughs> like, there's, there's like, it's either they don't draw or they're 100, 1000% good. All the comments in YouTube are like, hit me right in the insecurity. I know, right? And in a way, I'm also grateful as well because they're a big source of my own influence and development. So I always think how I could get to that kind of stage too. Eventually and slowly. Most of my, I have a folder of like inspirations in general. So just art inspirations when I want to think up of new drinks. And I always look at that folder full of China arts. But yeah, their level is so crazy. It's okay, we can dream that we're good at artists as them, I know, right? When I do the premise, I always fear to make a mistake because I usually go one layer and that with that approach. Oh yeah, I kind of like what I'm doing now. I just find it easier to do it mostly in one-ish layer as well. Of course, the other extra details I'll do on another layer, but I find it easier to blend colors and make it more less stiff that way. Uh, oh, no worries. Oh, good. Mm, I'm going to click and watch it for later. Ah, nice. It kind of reminds me of one of the artists that I really like too. The art style. Very similar art style to one of my artists that I've been following for a long time. Um, what was their username? Uh, let me see. Uh, Luangia? Yeah, I really like, um, I've been following this artist for a long time. Wait, uh, if their website loads, their website takes a long time to load for me. Maybe it's the different, the servers take a long time. Mm. Well, I have the images saved in my folders anyway. Yeah, um, I really like Ruanji's art. So I followed their art for a long time as well. So they do like stuff like this. And I just really like how many layers of colors that they use. It's like, look, I like zooming in and look at the layers of colors and things like that and how they blend those kind of colors and make it look very natural. So I like look at those kind of art styles too. 
so yeah i look at a lot of those kind of art styles and i use it as good studies as well right like what kind of colors and those kind of layers that they use like these oranges pinks blues and stuff like that for those kind of hues and things like that so i look at a lot of those kind of drawings and um what other artists that i really like yeah so i also really like uh what other illustrations do i also really like a lot really but yeah that, that's one of the ones that i've always found like really nice to look at that is like so good <laughs> I also like looking at things like this artist, another another Chinese artist. But I like looking at things like this. Just a sense of colour and composition and stuff. So you can always see where my influences come from. This artist also does things like um, this. Again, I always like to see... I like to zoom in and see what colours and how they kind of paint in a way get some ideas of how they do it and what colors that they use if you zoom in like the yellows the oranges and other stuff and like the little tones and the little rainbows and the, like all the kind of stuff so i like looking at those kind of art, art. i feel like i learned the most with those kind of art hello thank you um randin thanks for the follow yeah so that gives you a sense of what kind of art I like to look at. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I learn a lot of from those kind of styles. how much time they must invest to be great with it yeah but again there's probably a lot of places you can actually learn i mean there's more options and great artists and great great artists to begin with over there so they it, it's like japan right if it's like japan they'd have like proper drawing schools or like proper seiyu schools and stuff like that so they have i feel like the overall average is higher <laughs> It is, it is. And that's why you see that I try to do more interesting colours in my drawings or like a mixture of colours. It's actually really interesting. I'm just looking at this drawing now and it feels quite I'm I'm comparing it to the early early times I drew Alan. And it's really interesting how the vibe has changed. I'm just kind of see my some of my earlier drawings. Let's see. What was my earlier drawings like? It's gone through phases. It's gone through phases, right? Um, I went for a lot of different uses as well, so... 
Hmm. I'm trying to think. That particular one. <laughs> It's changed quite a bit. Pain. This was how many years ago? This was five years ago. Five years ago ish. Um, but uh, different vibe, I guess. And then I went through. More like these kind of vibes as well. And then over time, yeah, changes changes a bit over time. I feel like the idea and compositions have changed a little bit as well. The way I can handle it. Then I think that should be okay. Or the thing. Gonna leave for a moment, but the island is looking amazing. Thank you, Edo. Thank you for coming by. Take care for now. Come chat again soon next time. <laughs> Afterwards, I'll try to push the limits of free love today and work on my boy. Yes! Please do. I'll look forward to it. It was nice to draw Alan again. Says your buddy. It wasn't supposed to be this painterly. But here we go. <laughs> I all, at first I was envisioning a bit more harder colors, but then again, I'm not fussed as long as it looks decent. Okay. 
here. Let's do the red parts first. And then <laughs> that part too. Thank you, Nikachan three four five four three five. <laughs> Yeah, pain is it? It's like a just ready to take. We'd only have a silver of a chance of stopping if <laughs> it's if we tried any hard. Oh goodness! How long did you spend on that one? Amazing seconds. <laughs> you got this. Just finishing that side, yes. Let's get it. Dang, I'm gonna say so late for class. Oh no! Go, go, go. Go to your class. Who 
like this air should be blue. Darker. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Bring more contrast. This girlson once proposed to me by offering me top part of his neck. I told them they were being too needy. <laughs> then, then he punched you. Sugoi. Indeed. And then this one and this part. It's a bit too grey now, but it's grey. Well, I'll fix that later. I'll just get. Hmm. This part, this part, this part, and this part. Ah. Nice. Drying arms is nice. <laughs> Hello, Kalafira. Hope 
you are having a good day slash night. Ish. I always draw Alan and Kanda in sleeveless because drawing arms is nice. It's fun. Drawing arm muscles is fun. Oh, just saw the thumbnail in recommended and this is really lovely art. I have to say thank you. Thank you. I'm happy to hear that. I'm drawing Alan Walker from D Gray Man, one of my favorite all time favorite characters. Thank you. <laughs> Squints as I nice uh, let me draw nice arms. Let me draw <laughs> Leo of arm yes, nice. I've been drawing like drawing the main four exorcists a lot. Alan, Kanda, Lavi and Lenali. I am. I'm having a very good, nice stream today. It's always fun when I stream D Gray as well. Every time I get to. Haven't drawn D Gray in a while, so it's been a while, but um, it's always something enjoyable for me. Plus, I miss D Gray a lot as well, since it's so long since the chapters. Oh, thank you, Valila Senpai, for the follow. <laughs> As you can tell, new people can also tell that I'm a big Kanda fan, judging from my notice. <laughs> I changed... Originally, when I first started streaming, all my notifications on stream were all D-Grey. But um, then, of course, um, once I started doing VTubing, I made up more my own notifications. But the only one I... I was um found it difficult to part with was the Kanda one. <laughs> D Grey Grimmon was one of the first anime I watched. Uh, I see. It was very iconic at that time as well. And hello, Star Points. Do you have a fave? Who's everyone's fave? I mean, obviously everyone knows mine, but um. Green Sprout, lovey. Hey. <laughs> There's a degree really ding dong joke, but I, even I wouldn't reach out that far for a joke. <laughs> Thought Alan was so cool, lol. Alan was cool. Alan and Linnelly was really cool too in the earlier stages. Alan? <laughs> Alan be very likable. I think Alan is one of my favorite Sean and Pro tags, but just not uh, my idea of it. Ah, right. Kanda comes in a close second. Yes! Kanda 
Kana has changed a lot appearance wise too. He used to be just a like a pretty boy and then he just became buff. <laughs> Save before I forget. Howdy. Well, thank you, the Colin, for the follow. Hello. Hello. Just don't mind me for the follow. It is a uh, period, the over open fourth opening. <laughs> Close though. Na, 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 na. Yes, EFMA. Right, time for me to surrender to sleep. Have a good rest of streaming you. Thank you. Alright, folks up. Thank you for coming by again. Hope you have a lovely rest. Thank you for another funny night. <laughs> Is it hard for you to go digital to traditional? Nope. I was mostly... I was traditionally trained in traditional. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kelly. Kalafira for the follow as well. Thank you again. So uh, I'm actually, I can draw professional illustrations in traditional, but most of my jobs are digital and I'm lazy to whip out all my traditional tools now. So, but yeah, I was mostly trained in traditional. So it's not easy, so it's not hard for me to go to traditional. Some digital artists who just do digital may find it difficult. That's usually the case. Usually for traditional artists, going for digital isn't isn't as hard as it is for digital going for traditional. Um, being trained in traditional helped me a lot when I went back to digital. Oh, 
Oh, do you have different styles when doing traditional? I do. I have several. Sometimes in traditional, you just have to make do with the tools that you have and find ways to do something. So I find that sometimes traditional drawings are more creative that way. So it'd be like that. Okay, good. Thank you, Acid. Thank you so much. Slowly but surely it's getting there. So that's why like um when I teach drawing at first, I tend to teach traditional drawing first than digital. Of course some jump in like to um digital, but um usually the one that are just plain digital are a little bit harder to teach. Because when you start with just digital, you develop some habits that are hard. Um, hard to get rid of if you don't understand how to get rid of it traditionally. It's just like certain habits that you build. For example, being too perfectionist in um, digital because the option of undo, those are digital habits. Or having confident lines in drawing find that in digital it ends up being like the lines look very unconfident but then in traditional you have to force yourself to be more confident with your line work stuff like that so those are things that are very much more easier to train in traditional than digital This drawing turned out a little bit different than expected, but no, I'm, I'm cool with it. <laughs> Not in a bad way, just some what in I have in mind is a little bit in, different in terms of style. I thought I was going to be a little bit more um, paler, the overall drawing. But then I incorporated a little bit more red than I thought. Not just in the whole drawing, but like say like skin tones wise and such. I thought it was gonna be, I thought I was gonna do a little bit more paler. Just do this. Oh, I wish I could draw good at you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Drawing is a tricky kind of thing, though. No matter how many years you've been drawing it, there's still always unexpected things or struggles sometimes as well. What's your favorite color? Ah, uh, hmm. I don't really say like I uh, have a super super like favorite like oh this is my color that kind of thing but um I usually don't count like say like white as a color because in reality white and black um doesn't exist because white and black are only tangible in digital format but in reality light reflections the 100% white and 100% black is not possible um so that's why white and black is not considered a color so I wasn't gonna consider that but um i like i like a lot of purples and blues i think i went into color theory sorry please excuse me for that brief moment it's a habit i have when i have to talk about color and color theory 
and lighting. <laughs> I can't believe you went into Call of Duty my head to be honest but... <laughs> Hey I have to do this like once every trimester at least I had to go through saying the exact same thing three times this trimester Oh for those new I um I work as a uni lecturer so <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh goodness. Shimizu Ayu, thank you so much for the raid. Mamma mia. <laughs> thank you for the zap raid. So many zaps. Bidi 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 bidi. Thank you, Dem one two two three three for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Ah, playing Valorant. How is that? There's been a lot of um, Valorant tournaments and things going on. Kana and Kuza has been playing a lot of Valorant. So, yeah, it's really interesting to see how a lot of people are playing it recently and watching it. Oh, thank you. Try to shoot me for the follow. And thank you, Dazokai. Thank you for the follow. Yes, Kuza, right? Yes, Kuza. You mean Lagusa. <laughs> Not Kuza, Lagusa kun. <laughs> Went well, went up Ah, oh, yatta! You went up and win! Congrats! I haven't played Valorant myself, but um, I play Apex. Although I haven't played the past week or so because being busy with work and such. But um, yeah, I have a lot of friends that play Valorant as well. And thank you, Morishita Yusuke. Morishita? Morishita Yusuke? Nice. Thank you for the follow. And thank you, Velt. Veltem. STX for the follow. And what went on? Follow is nice. Thank you. <laughs> Your followers. No, no. Thank you. It's my favorite. One of my favorite. My biases. Kanda Yu from Negro Man. Voiced by Sato Takuya, who has a very, very nice voice. And oh, thank you. That's nice. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Thank you so much. Try to shame me. Thank you so much. Are you? And thank you so much for the raid. How long have you playing, been playing Valorant for? Because um, I only started playing Apex like two-ish months ago. Was it two months ago? Something like that, right? So I'm pretty new to first-person shooters myself. Let's, let me change music first. Da, 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 da. Mm, to be honest, I don't, but I'm still pretty new about it. But as long as you have fun, that's exciting, right? Because I'm not that great at Apex either, but I enjoy it with uh, all my friends. Training arc, let's go, yes! <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm literally in the training arc. How's your day going? It's been going good. Yeah, really, really. I'm um, also playing Moonbits Enjoy. Yes, Apex is fun. Yeah, I've been really enjoying playing it, even though I haven't played too much first in person shooters to kind of compare, but. <laughs> Do you want to go to bed? <laughs> yes. Yes, please go off to bed. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you for the raid and have a good rest as well. Good night too. Thank you again. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum. <laughs> I'm not great at first person games, so Apex is really hard, but I do like watching other play Apex. It is a bit of a learning curve. I mean, it took me a whole month before I finally kind of get, got used to it. And even then, I still die a lot, right? I mean, that's a, I think that's part of, well, that is part of the game play, but... But when you get that win, it's so... Or like, win and that kill, it's so satisfying. But you have to die like 1,000 times to get that one kill. <laughs> it's one of those. And then... When you can get tips from others in Apex, it's so much better than getting thrown into the recovery of group. Ah, yes. Thankfully, because um, I have friends who have played first-person shooters and I've and other yeah fellow players that helped me out a bit, so definitely helped. Doesn't make it much easier, but it does help, right? People out there having fun with Apis while I'm crying at League of Legends. <laughs> I hear mixed things about League of Legends. Love the background music, thank you. Ray, I like playing a lot of lo-fi MiGM for my drawing streams. I heard the le overall League of Legends fandom is pretty wild. That's what I heard. But I don't really know it enough to... Or like, know many people that play enough to really keep track. Ah... Uh, I see, I see. Ah, uh, one of those. I mean, I hear it more in some games more than others. I feel Apex isn't too bad. Sometimes we'll get some kids on there and they just have to talk, but um, nah, it's not overall too bad. You get people just like getting themselves killed and then DCing mostly. As in like they just leave the game after they just get killed. Like, they yeet themselves into a trying to become solo or something, and then they die, and then they're like, buy game, and I'm like, alright. So mostly that. She is always also up there with it, again. It's fun friends if you don't have them, you're screwed. Nah, true, true. That's, yeah, I enjoy, I mean, I sometimes play by myself in uh, Apex if I feel like I just need to practice. But, um, just for the sake of practicing, right? But um, I mostly play it with friends. A bit of art, thank you. Apex is pretty overall, especially if you get some random mate that laughs when you die and then still carries you. That is overall probably the most rare thing in gaming communities. Ah, true. I remember um, the other... <laughs> There's some really funny, like, I feel like that we try to at least... Most of the time, people try to revive each other if they can. Like, I try to as well, if my teammate dies. If they, if they weren't being like, oh, like, 
leaves at the start of the game and then they get themselves killed and I'm like dude why did you like get yourself out from to begin with but like overall they usually quite like I'll, I'll try to try to revive well thank you Ak Ak Akra Haya for the hollow Eda sama Eda welcome back Okay. <laughs> thank you um i remember one time i was playing with um shadow right and then uh for some reason we we're like edge of this we we're at the building like near the water in the um the the canyon the canyons and then for some reason the horizon because horizon for those who don't play Apex, is the character that kind of does the gravitational thing. Like, they yeet the people off to the sky or yeet themselves up to the sky, right? There's no enemies. It was a quiet area. We are just, like, sitting there, like, chilling for a little bit. And then our our teammate, who was a rando, suddenly yeeted themselves and yeeted me up into the sky. And then we fell, right? We fell to the outside of the game limit into the water. So we both died. <laughs> and then Shadow had to go revive both of us because we died at the same time. We actually somehow came like second in the entire round, but um, that was a really dumb moment. We're like, how did we even become second with that really dumb moment? We just like got uh, got thrown. We literally threw ourselves into the ocean by accident. Um, well, they did, and then they dragged me with them, so it was a bit of a weird moment. Yeah, that moments like those, <laughs> and then the teammate was like, "GG." <laughs> When we both died, they're like GG as Jerry tried to revive both of us. Thank you, Artilio, for the follow. That is a thing that won't happen to me often because of my new main. Who's your new main? Ah, right, right, kitty. Nice, Sue. I haven't um played Apex ever since the new new update, so um I only played the night before the other updates because been a little bit busy. But um I'm keen, I'm keen to give it a try. I usually main uh Date. Date Sue. Date Sue. Yes. Saves before I forget. Um, mm -hmm. I want to play some Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy Lo Fi's. Have to go now. See you later. See you. Yanni. Oh, yes, me. Wraith is good, but she got kind of nerfed down, so you have to big skill cap to learn it. I do like Green is pretty useful so I do like No, I'm just so I like I like the speedy characters so No shut I feel like that's too red. Maybe I'll take it down a little bit. Like that. Maybe it's a little bit uh Maybe something like that. Stuck at, I'm stuck at. So I'm stuck playing Castlevania. Oh no! Oh, wow, nice up. Thank you. I see when you like cities you definitely like Octane the Oh I have tried Octane. I enjoy I haven't used Octane much. Um I've only used him twice at the moment, but um I want to try and get used to Octane. He seems fun to use. I still haven't got the grasp of using him properly though. But um I feel like he's a fun character overall. 
faster, faster, faster. Hmm? Well, we're both Chinese artists, so... Most of, the, uh, most of the artists I like coming in a similar method, although some more use more colours than others. <laughs> uh concept oh, thank you i star sl for the follow Ah. How many layers do you use per piece? Yeah, well, as good as I put them up, yeah. I mean, I like drawing skeletons as well. I like drawing... And drawing the undead is pretty fun too. Because, um... Yeah, I like drawing stuff like this as well, right? With zombies and such. But... That was the first time actually drawing undead kind of like zombies and such, but I enjoy drawing those kind of things as well. Skelly boys. So my friend before now, I'm like missing Alan out with bigger. Looks so good. Oh, thank you. How many layers do you use per piece? Um, coloring wise, I don't usually use that crazy a lot. Thank you, Doki Doki Moon. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Um, usually, I mean, this is, was the draft color I did the base coloring in. And then I just clip it and then paint, keep painting until it becomes something. So I do most of my actual like um, painting in one layer. Although afterwards, I tend to do things like extra, maybe painting layers on top and other stuff like that. And other lighting adjustments and things like that. So... But the main base, I really only need to do the line art, the underneath colour, and the painting on top. Three-ish? <laughs> Drawing undead is fun. So it started off with a more of a draft kind of like this. And then from then on, I just keep painting and painting. So you see I'm from the from kind of making my way down. I'm like, yes, I kind of did. <laughs> and hello again, Akti. Yeah, so slowly making my way down. Setting way downtown, walking way, thinking fast and walking. <laughs> Wondering if the. Okay. I know, right? <laughs> Uh, something popped into my head just that moment. I want to add more detail to um, Alan's face as well, but um, I'll do that after. <laughs> ah, who knows what I can do? And then I'll just do a little bit here, and then here, and then blendy blend. 
And so by I'm saying the red, yeah, I'm very bored of color scheme. I do like this. That's why I really like drawing Alan in his newer outfits because it's it's quite easy to make the colors look nice with that kind of color scheme as well. And he always has a really good contrast. I'm a fan of purple schemes. To me, I like a lot of different color schemes, but to me, this is pretty easy compared to others. I like you seeing a lot of pastel tones as well, like the pinkish bluish as well. Pinkish blueies and yellows, I like to use a lot too. I tend to towards cooler shades as well, but I like warmer colors too. Just depend on piece, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Um, who is this Alan fellow? He is the protagonist of a manga by Hoshino Katsura called The Gray Man, one of a, an old shonen kind of series. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Like, I, I really like, say, example, um, say, the pinkish blue tones, like, for Ludia's kind of colours. I really like using these kind of colours. Um, and even the purple and yellows I do like as well, like, for, like, Noah. Like, these kind of tones I really like too. So it really depends. I find those ones quite... I naturally like those more. But for D Grey or, like, for, like, Mordal, like, the black and red with the red standing out always looks really nice. Like those kind of tones always, it's always really easy to look good in it with those subtle tones. Actually, but like, I really like the pastel colors, right? Like the Pomer and things like that. So I tend to like using those kind of color schemes more. So red and black is just because it's a little bit easier. <laughs> Can I hear so to the song? Why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Craig, Craig, what? <laughs> Look at who he's calling his making all his mind going over Craig. <laughs> oh, thank you. Now my can read mind blowing those. I like to say beautiful. Thank you so much. So that's the kind of stuff that I like to draw. I like to do more contrasty art usually, but um, it depends, right? So. I like to do more stuff like like this with more like highlights and stronger kind of tones and lighting. But sometimes it's a hit or a miss, right? With those kind of tones as well. So it, it depends. So that's why I don't really have a favorite color scheme. I just like to change it up. Some are easier than others. Hey, Arjuna. I know, right? So it really depends. I play around with a lot. Because I get bored with one thing. <laughs> Pre PM. Uh, I'm going to ask Arjuna to eat them. <laughs> Have you ever done a uh, concept art? Um. So I studied concept art and I, yes, I can do concept art stuff. So if you are telling me to draw concept art stuff, I can. It's just not my thing right now. So this is the things that I used to do as a student, say like over 10 years ago, or like more realistic things like things like this. So I used to train myself in more realistic drawings. So more like things like this, more things like this, illustration. Um, what else did I used to do? I used to do, oh, in terms of watercolor, I can do this in watercolor. This was done on A3 paper, watercolor hyperrealism. So that's why I'm like, yeah, it doesn't really matter, tra traditional digital. And I used to do more realistic for my old jobs. So I used to draw stuff like this. 
So, but um, my passion is anime and manga. <laughs> my passion is anime and manga, so here I am. Um, I used to. So this is the kind of backgrounds I used to do when I was a student as well. Um, I this took me two, three days straight. I I'm really slow when it comes to backgrounds, so um, because I draw everything from scratch back then, I don't know how to incorporate it to my current style drawing style now because I don't draw the same way I used to draw, which was very cell shady and like very otome gameish back then. But um, so I probably wouldn't have done this approach now. But um, yeah, but that was my old drawings back like when I was, when I was a student. So before I go, do you know of Alucard from Castlevania? Yeah, of course. Castlevania is big. So, yeah. So, pretty much. When people say, ask if I ha can draw traditional, yes. Even though 90% of my illustrations and job is digital. But um, my student days and my found drawing foundation became where it was because of traditional. So that's why I always emphasize how important it is to draw traditionally too. It also helps with a lot of like confidence in art. I find that. Is she like coming back alive? Oh, good luck. Oh, you went to uni? I didn't just go to uni, I teach at uni. <laughs> I'm a university lecturer. <laughs> the Golden Week sale on Steam. Wink, wink. Oh, no. Nah, it's all good. I have too many games. Iranai, Iranai. More games that I can play. Alan always looks good in anything. Kinda looks good in anything too. It's too many hard games, yeah. And then... It's always really nice after being a, like a university lecturer teacher and stuff. It's really nice to see how much more interest there is nowadays in the subjects I teach, right? Because I remember when my course, my subject started, there were barely any students. And now, knowing more and more, like more people are interested in game design, illustration and all that, it's pretty amazing. Like, it also, it kind of makes me wish I had that to study when I was a student as well. Because I didn't have a, I Unity wasn't a thing back then, so I would have, it would have been nice to learn programs like Unity and such, back in my era. Because now it's like legit, because I've worked with the in companies, but um, I don't know how to use it myself. But 
but then all my students they learn it throughout their courses so i'm like you know Yeah, you need help kick style with diverse and gamehood. Definitely. Definitely. I wish ah, I do. But yeah. Uni really wasn't a thing in my university days yet. Yeah, a lot of games are made in Unity these days. Mm. Don't mind me. I'm just getting some lollies. Not really lollies, but butter menthol. So I don't get a sore throat. Nom 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 nom. Yeah. Because I'm mostly in Cardi Uni, mostly in the jobs that I got afterwards. But, uh. Right, I'll be heading out and play some Apex. See ya, have fun! Have fun with your Apex in. Hope you get a lot of kills. Keep saying I'm gonna be an industry sound, but I really wanna be in game design. I mean, it's never too late. We have a lifetime to learn things, so everything has its due time. There's always a chance. Okay. I'm gonna separate the reds a little bit by using a little this this here and then this here. Just to separate the reds a little bit more so it doesn't blend in completely. And then Yeah, that's a little bit better. It doesn't really blend in as much. And then... Mm, need to cover the spider lilies afterwards as well. Well, at least the most of the hard stuff is done. I still need to... I still want to make Alan's face a little bit nicer. Even though his face is already nice, but um... And then, pretty much just left of the skull and the spider lilies, huh? Aya. 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 I might even make it a bit more red. And then da 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 smudge. Bless this smudgy tool. And then the darker brushes. Some sometimes, sometimes they come. Um, 
I think I need to add maybe some red. I feel like I want to add some little red hot spots, but I'm um, not sure where yet. We'll see. Adding too much might not be the best idea, but um, maybe a little bit. Quantum start for the follow. Now I really like thinking back on just before we were talking about the color schemes that um or favorite colors and the favorite kind of color schemes I really like the I realized that um I gravitate towards a more holographicish kind of thing because I remember people saying that like oh I really caught color holographic like So three hours, three hours and 20 minutes I got this far. Pretty, pretty good. Line art and colour. <laughs> so much. Thank you. It depends, right? Sometimes, sometimes, you know, when you have those drawing moods where, like, you try and get yourself to draw, but no matter what you draw and how many time you spend, nothing turns out well. Today, I think, is a pretty, I'd say, a pretty good day. A pretty good drawing day. Wonderful, so wonderful. Great job, you. Thank you, Mecha Endo. Mecha Endo is one of my dear friends, Niga. Thank you. Who always proofreads my comic Bewinda for me. So thank you for always proofreading for me. Very dear friend. <laughs> 
a look how spider lily's colors are I'm getting shy to swap <laughs> Yeah, dear friend, come on. Not at all, thank you for always helping me out and always giving me an eye opener to things I should be correcting in my grammar or like things that sound maybe could be phrased better. And sorry for lurking, I just enjoy listening. No, thank you, I enjoy it even if you lurk and everything. So, whenever you know, I'm not first. <laughs> Da 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 Thank you for the stream, Mia. So glad I could come again. No, thank you, Edo. Thank you for keeping me company once again. And it's great to catch up with you. I'm glad we could catch up and talk again. <laughs> and talk about good hooded, good hoodie boys. Yes. <laughs> and I look forward to your bunny boy. Yes. I assume. <laughs> Soon is she. <laughs> And then we can stream together! <laughs> Excites. Oh, by the way, I was on my phone and I couldn't comment on it, but the concept Mia showed us was bomb. Thank you! It's a very long time ago, but, um... Yeah, I, uh, when I first was a student, I aimed to be a game concept artist. Because, you know, that's why you never really know, right? Because back then there wasn't as many jobs, and anime manga wasn't as big as it is now, uh, especially commissions and everything. And Live 2D didn't exist, and all that kind of thing. And jobs were limited, and such like that. So I was just like, I aimed, I trained and aimed myself to be a game, game artist. Um, which I still am a game artist, but not the same kind of game artist I trained myself. I trained myself to be like a more, more of the actual like concept art, game art, storyboarding, like those kind of stuff, right? <laughs> and then now I'm just 2D boys. <laughs> yes, it'll, I'd love that too. Oh, it'll be like good. Drawing, drawing, col drawing streams with and on also with our VTuber Ev. That'll be fun. <gasps> tells, tells of drawing stream. Make that happen one day. <laughs> yes. Excites. Oh, wait, at least we've got a plan for the future. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, you know it's wholly, wholly possible with all the paint chat apps and everything. Good to the first part. Still looking forward to the day when I can throw money at you so we can make a good game together. I know, right? Anything's possible. I feel like I originally, when I painted this drawing, I didn't. Hmm. I didn't expect to paint the uh, spider lilies in much detail. I kind of wanted a bit more vague ish. So maybe I'm overpainting. I'm just gonna gradient it and kind of make it fade off a little bit. Because I think I'm overdoing it. Something like this is. This maybe? I feel like I overdid it a little bit. I feel like a little bit less is less is better. Kind of like that. A little bit better. Sometimes when you overpaint stuff, you know. But, uh, let's see. Let me... Well, I guess I'll leave that for now. And then... Have this. <laughs> Bless streaming live 2D and everything. So many opportunities and things that people can do now. Oh, maybe I should get one of my good friends to draw with me on, on stream one day. One of my close friends. I would love that. I haven't drawn with her in a long time. I talked to her a bit a few times. My BFF from Canada, Snakey. We used to, when we were young, we used to draw, we have, used to paint draw all the time, like Sengoku Basara and everything like that. I feel like the flowers are too big. And do. Maybe I'm gonna use some, use some brushes. What is this? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ned Arts, for the follow. Kind of want to draw some flowers here. FK for a while. Oops. Welcome back. Ooh. Mm, this is quite interesting. And then kind of like that. So see what else I could add onto that. Show you 
I want a vine ish. Thank you. Thank you. Kind of want that kind of vibe to kind of come out a little bit more. different from idea wise from my previous drawings but I guess that's the fun part Going to make Ellen's face even prettier. Wish you would hold me like that, but I lie. <laughs> me too. Hija no mala. Thank you for doing the follow. Jan to mochiko ki kunda na. Just make that. 
もうもうお前たちあんたたちねうんとやれやれだぜ。あーだだだ And then? やれやれだぜ<笑>。だやね。やれやれだぜ。What do you think about Alan and Jonah's outfit? Hmm, good question. Never really thought about it that way, but now I have it in my head. I mean, interesting. Jojo <laughs> outfits are always so. It's like you can't really imagine other characters in them, huh?
I feel like I need to drop it here. Jojo sono jino sadame. Jojo. Thank you. Bore Vadia for the follow. And then I think at least Alan's face looks decent now. Looks a little bit mm, I feel like I've gotta clean these lines up. My shiny hair feel. Mm, nice. Ooh. Mm, I feel like the red here is. I want to make the skull stand a little bit, so I might make this a little bit darker. Yeah, I might make that a little bit darker. And then... I want to see if let me try more stuff again. Create a new folder, move everything in. Yo, um, okay. Hmm. Oh goodness. Right. Right. <laughs> the right kuza is here. <laughs> Gosh, thank you, Rai, for the host, my best bro. And thank you, Sky. Sky have Sky! Thank you so much for the host. Hello! <laughs> oh, what? Why? No, Sky! <laughs> thank you for the. <laughs> thank you! Oh, thank you, Hoppo. Oh, and thank you for doing the shout out. How do thank you for the host too, Avo. Wow. How was your stream, bruh?
<laughs> let me let me spam icons. <laughs> Thank you so much. Why? Yada yada yada. No, thank you. I mean, you always, you always game and shout out for me. So, thank you, honestly. Finally, starting the Yakuza series. Finally, at that time. Oh my god, over a hundred quotes now. Iconic, iconic. That sounds fun. <laughs> nah, but God, you had a fun Yakuza stream. I mean, even the, Yak the Yakuza series is... <laughs> will be a while to get you. Get through all of them, anyhow. There's so many. This drawing looks better every time. <laughs> Thank you! I'm getting their sweats. I know, right? You've got plenty of content that'll keep you busy. Enough Yakuza to keep you for busy for the whole year. <laughs> Let's see if I have a Nah, thank you, Rai For coming And for the raid I'm just chilling, join my best boy as usual Good fuck <laughs> My son's here Gimme gimme. Gimme gimme gum. Oh thank you, Yuri Rain, for the follow. More Alana, I know, right? It's been a long time. Thank you, Gulin, for the follow. Finish Yakasa a couple of years ago and currently playing free with me. It's incredible. Hey see. By the way, Rai, me, this is my dear friend, the Mecha Endo, from good old Inazuma days, um, who also helps me proof read my comics. Oh, Leishin is here too! My two sons are here! <laughs> yeah, Mika's a dear friend of mine. Sons, I know, right? Are you winning, sons? <laughs> Good old Inazuma days, as if I even got over it. That's true, your name is still very Inazuma. Oh, thank you, Tundria, for the follow. Alright, a family gathering. <laughs> the whole family is here. Oh, my dearest friends is here. No, thank you. Thank you, Ina. It's only right of me to introduce my friends to my dearest friends and Rai, who's a very good friend of mine, so it's only normal. <laughs> no, you guys. No, you guys are too good to me. Give some to my my son, Megumi, to Mizuri, to Clanky Pancakes. Thank you. The generous, the generous Oyabun. Rai who spoils me like crazy and plays Apex with me all the time. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this is so right. Thank you, Rai, for the gift sub to Miga Miga. 
make an indoor. Oh yeah, we know. I know that one has one. Mo, stop it, mo. I like it. I like it, but yeah. Thank you to the ultimate generous Oyabun. <laughs> I heard a big yell, man. <laughs> it's so <funny. laughs> Rai was um Rai was um gifting people stuffs. <laughs> Oh my goodness. They've given 39 gifts to the channel and told just to stop spending your money. Save your money. Bro, save your money. Don't ask if I got this guy. It's the black markets. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rai. Honestly. Honestly, you too generous. Dude, when you come over to see me, just stay at my post, okay? <laughs> Why haven't using 10 million? I'm kind of like, alright. Definitely did punch them out of the other. So. More. No, don't bring gifts. Just come. <laughs> you are you are already a gift. You are already a blessing. <laughs> I'll punch the gifts out of your hands. Smash is happening, totally different for the for afternoon. That's right, yes. Smash is gonna happen. So that's why I am... Um... Dude, right, if you're coming, bring your Arjuna. <laughs> we finally... We have still... We still haven't shot that yet. Right, must be... That could be a gift. Just bring your Arjuna. <laughs> I know, right? The cosplay shoot that's been delayed for too long. No worry, money. I just threw some of your stuff throwing money to you guys. I was doing drinking cheery mother. I know, right? You guys stop throwing. Stop throwing money. People thinking out using money. I'm staying at my last ten dollars. I don't have a whirling problem. I swear. <laughs> whirling is a difficult life. Omaera, kane na, nani o motteru no? Kane te. More. 
Okay, meeting time gonna lag. Alright, have a good meeting, Lei Shen. Enjoy the luck. I'm like, where was I up to? Sweats. And then, oh wait, where was I up to? And then... <laughs> Gonna go sleep, Jim, while him holding me, but alive. <laughs> Thank you, Gucci. Hope you have good dreams. I must go sleep, but the stream... Oh my gosh, do go sleep, go sleep. Too bright. Single digit sun. <laughs> that pro that platforms are attached to my feet always exactly goodness <laughs> is this a platform is this a platform um contest oh yeah I was dead set on going to sleep like five minutes before the rain now that I'm seeing this absolutely impact plan I'm okay not, I'm okay to stay for another 30 minutes so would you could thank you oh my goodness that was no no <laughs> get some rest <laughs> right already spoils me enough <laughs> yeah, all great. Bum, 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 da, da. Nani? <laughs> Thank you, Haru, for the donation. Nande, I just had that like nani movement. <laughs> Is a means okay. I get paid too much. <laughs> that doesn't make it better. <laughs> mm. 
and then Yes, 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 Alan, 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 It's been a long time since, actually, getting back to drawing, well, it's been a long time since I've drawn Alan, so, uh, probably. So, it's kind of interesting to see how my art has changed since then. I mean, I feel like I didn't do his nails enough. Hmm? <laughs> nah, I'm glad to see you all. Today's a good stream. So many lovely faces. Lovely people today. Man, I'm biting the bullet and buying a new star from my iPad. Oh my goodness. Rip. I feel that pain. I've been through that pain before. When I lost my my iPad pencil. Painful situation to be. Oh, you, I. <laughs> okay, let's put there. I am going to see if let me let me see if this does anything. Show me in love. No, <laughs> you guys, you guys, you guys are a shower me with love all the time. Even just by being here, you know? Every time I stream, when I see you guys, it makes me really happy. Almost makes me like wonder, like, why are you guys still here, you know? Gorgeous, this thank you. No, thank you, thank you for always, always, always being there and being my friend. And you know, especially for me, I know that you guys, you guys all know that I'm generally juggling ten million things at once, and I'm always really busy. And I always feel not so like bad, but I also feel reg a little bit regretful that I'm not able to spend as much time with everyone as I'd like to although of course i do make time for people and i try my best to but like you know you guys have always been so supportive of, of me and sometimes i can't do the extent of what i'd like to do for you guys in return but um but regardless you guys have always been really really just so great to me and i'm really mm, like it's just really lucky <laughs> for that <laughs> I know, right? Hello, Katie.
Ellen looking nice there. I know, right? Thank you. I gotta do justice for my boy. Can I ping again here? A bit too much? I feel like that's a bit too much. And then... bit little bit we zoom out to see if the lighting looks nice um Yes, almost. I think. I feel like there's still a lot more on. Even on white, it looks decent too. Oh, I know what I forgot. The other side. I haven't been looking at the clock, but I should start thinking about leaving. Yes! Go, go, go! Thank you for coming, Miga. Bye! <laughs> Please do! I mean, our time difference is pretty crazy, huh? I've classed in a couple of hours and I haven't done my homework yet. <laughs> Look, I'm a better. Yes! Please do! And then I'm going to try another brush. I've been sitting here for the past few minutes trying to figure out what degram and stuff on. Uh, yes, <laughs> DGM said, but yes. No, thank you, Endogun. I'm so used to, when I say Endor, I'm always so used to like Endokun, based off Inazuma habits. But uh, thank you again. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> and again. Uh, what about like threatening, right? See you next time, Indokun. Let's see. Maybe... 
green or do it under. The castle looks so far, but it's gorgeous. I know, right? Thank you. turn out exactly like the idea I had in mind but it's close enough Let me try. Save first before I do anything else. Wait, I need to sip of my tea. Let me sip. And then, I want to see. Actually, I want to try some brushes. Maybe there's some other brushes. Here that I can try. Woo! Look at this brush. Nice. Oh. Why? But um, that's not what I need right now. But um, where's? So nice. Okay. I'm getting to what I'm after. Interesting, right? Almost you the show. Okay. Is it a bit too much? want to make it like um you know how d gray man has a lot of weird patterns but i'm worried that i might overdo it because it looks good in manga style but um in this might not work Might not 
not working manga if it's not the manga style. Let me just think about it. Let me see. What is here? Oh, not one. This one? Mmm. And then where's my Let me see what other brushes I can add. <coughs> when you have too many brushes and you're like, which one should I play with today? What is this one? Water again? Mm. And then, what is water light rays? Woo! Woo! Wait. Ah, nah. Did I not? Wait, wait, wait. Move this up. Then, what? Well, I forgot I had this. Might be a bit too much. Yeah, might be a bit too much. So I can get rid of it. And then. Oh, what was it that one? Dust. Oh. I mean. I mean. And that's good on its own too. Oops, wrong eraser. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then, do I have another, another brush you that I could try out that I haven't really used? Mm -to, eh -to, eh -to. Um. Oh, 
about this one. Let's just do Ooh, bokeh. What does bokeh do? I don't really need a bokeh. What about? What about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of wanted to make a more ethereal to begin with, anyhow. But um, like ethereal, but kind of dark. <laughs> In a way. erase that even more and then I wonder would it be darker if it was near yes of course near would be much darker now as I'm gonna go finally sleep finish with the have oh thank you I will have I'll have fun finishing the rest and thank you for accompanying me for so long as well thank you so much you go good good night good even So I delete the ones I don't need, and then I want to see what gradient map does. Let me let me just see. So let me just go this way. I'll just go whoop. Um, nice, interesting. Hmm. What a cool night. Interesting. Let's see if there's any. Oh. Huh? Nice. Ooh. Don't mind me, I'm just giving this to see if I like any, but I probably not. I think I like the one that I had before without anything anyway. What does this one do? When to get noodles? How's the nudes? Maybe should I be dark? Let me just quit. I kind of want a more eerie ish, right? Maybe it's too much. Hold on. It's a good. Still cooking though. Noodles are always good. So this is without the lightings and then with the lighting becomes something more like this. And then 
is there anything else that I could I don't really like this I think mostly something like this right I feel like I should make more this part a little bit lighter so I started off with this and then I ended up with this so at the start of the stream it was this and then you just paint until it becomes like this easy layer did I do this on? When which layer? Oh. Huh? Nice. I kind of feel like it's a bit too much. Hmm. Maybe if I erase a little bit. Like so how do I make some bomb 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 home? <laughs> Instant noodles. Instant noodles. Mega ring. Mega ring is always good. I feel like the corner is too dark. Because um or unless Nope. I feel like I'll just erase a little bit and that might make it, make it less black. And then. And then that should be okay. I feel like the glove is a little bit too black too. Where's my dodge? What? Uh. Hmm? That might be a bit better. And then... And then... Save. Asha gaze, and then I am going to do my effects, and I'll leave it as is. Where's my <clears throat> um? Because I think that it's pretty much almost done anyhow, so it's all good. I'll just leave it at that. And then... What the?
Hey, something like that. Get the long time no Alan. <laughs> no, right. Next time, next time I will Kanda. Next time, next time, next time I would Kanda and Alan. Eventually. I'll get back to it. Um. Okay, so. Doshio. Okay. Welp. I think I might. Hmm. Leave the. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Edo, Edo Chan. And cool, have it, leave it at that for today. And four and a half hours, four and a half, half hours. Not bad, not bad. Warukunai, warukunai. Yes. Think I'll probably leave it at that tonight because I am pretty, pretty dead, pretty dead. And I'll probably be working on something afterwards, anyhow. So I'll probably leave it at that tonight. Probably not gonna read anyone at the moment. Since I've been reading the same people these few days as well, so. Night, night. Now, thank you all for coming too. And hopefully, hopefully by next week, I'm gonna be less busy, so going to be back drawing again. But yes, all good, all good, all good. That's me. Bye bye. Thank you for the stream. Take care, y'all. Thank you for keeping me company. Love y'all. Let's keep. Oh, yes, to meet you.